Hey, what's going on guys? Log.zip here. I'm on a horse. <laughs> Welcome to the latest Minecraft 1.9 snapshot. We are currently sitting on booties in 15W49A. This snapshot came out today. Assuming you're watching this video the day it came out. And there have been some notable changes that we're going to be covering. But, namely, infinite potions. How? Well, I'll tell you in a little bit. We're going to be covering the other changes in brief first. And then I'm going to show you how you're going to be able to get infinite potions and uh, infinite <laughs> snowballs. Let's not worry too much about the implications of this just yet. So, one thing I want to just get into very quickly is the fact that now when you are standing on horses, they will look wherever you're looking. That was not the case before. Wherever you move your head, the horses move that way as well. It's nice. It's really good stuff. I like it. So that's just one simple change. Unfortunately, horses are still not really working in the latest snapshots. If you try and like wander off into an unloaded chunk the chunks won't load if you're on horses same with i think traveling with minecarts on rails so that'll be fixed in time that is one change another change has been to melons in that something so melons have had an icon change they both now just face the same direction same orientation the uh it was either the glistering melon or the other melon it actually faced the other way like it was rotated so that's just like, a, you see, it's just minor fixes. But while we're in this menu, I may as well show you the changes to doors as well. This is actually a welcome change. Doors will actually now show their orientation based on where you click on the block. Notice, we clicked on the left side of the block. The hinge is now on the left side. We click on the right side. It's now on the right side. This is new. The only time it won't matter what side you click on is if there's another door next to it. So even though we clicked on the left side here, because it's next to this door, it will line up properly and the hinge will go on the opposite end. But as you can see, it's all dependent now on where you right click on the block. Isn't that something? So that's going to make placing doors a little easier, which is, uh, I guess, always a good thing. Another change to swords has been the simple fact that now the sweeping attack will in fact damage other mobs around it. So before, when you use the sweep attack, it would only hurt the mob that you actually hit. Now it will hurt all other mobs as well. You'll notice that these guys are gonna start taking damage even though, okay, well that's because they're drowning. Shut up! Probably not the best choice of um, animal to use. <laughs> oh yeah, cute little bunny! So, you'll see that even though we're only hitting one of these, multiple rabbits are dying! Sweep a Whoa, nice. <laughs> the carnage is unreal. So now sweep attacks will do damage to mobs in multiple areas. One heart of damage, not more than one heart, just one simple heart. And normal damage will be dealt to whatever mob you actually hit. So that's something to keep in mind. Speaking of mobs, mobs have actually also had a behavioral change. Aggressive mobs, such as Andermites, Magma Cube, Slime, Zombie Pigmen, Zombies, Wither Skeleton, Spiders, Cave Spiders, and Silverfish will now attack other mobs that have hit them. So I'm gonna go ahead and replicate this. So I'm gonna spawn in a bunch of skelly buns, bunch of friends here. They're all gonna try and kill me by firing off their arrows at me, but hopefully they instead hit some of these zombie pigmen because that's the idea here. They're gonna hit some of these slimes as well and they're gonna just start wailing on each other, hopefully. I mean, that would be a good thing. So we got a lot of mobs here. Now we just need a skeleton. We need one skeleton to hit one of these mobs. I think we could do it. So we're going to very quickly game mode zero. Maybe a skeleton will hit me. As you can see, they wailing. They wailing now, baby. Look, you see, they're actually fighting each other. Isn't that something? That's real nice. They're getting in. They're killing it. Look at that. They're fighting each other. Nice mob change. It actually just... It really just makes sense. It used to just be like skeletons would fight each other, but now all the other mobs will start going in on each other, killing each other as well. So that should make for some interesting mob versus mob action. Now, there's also been a change to one of the status effect icons, well two of them. Absorption and health boost now have separate looking icons as you can see in this screenshot courtesy of Redstone Helper on Reddit. Thank you for the screenshot. You can now see the difference between health boost and absorption at a glance. Speaking of, there's also been a bunch of changes that have been documented on Reddit to new sound effects. Now they're not current, <laughs> arrow in my head, in my eye as well. Oh, it just disappeared, whatever. They're not currently in game yet. They're probably gonna be added in future snapshots, but there are now sounds for equipping armor. There's sounds for placing and emptying lava buckets. When you eat a chorus fruit, there's now when you milk a cow, there's a sound effect. When you place and break paintings, etc., etc. You can see them all scrolling along the screen right now. So Minecraft's about to get a lot more loud. 
Another thing I want to show you with mobs is the fact that, unfortunately, double tall grass will no longer protect you from mobs line of vision. Before, if you happen to be hiding in a double tall layer of grass, mobs like creepers, skeletons, zombies, they literally would not be able to see you anymore. If I were to stand right here, normally, and you can try this in the non-snapshots, the zombie would not be able to see me. No longer the case, they'll come right at me, and that is not fun. <laughs> Worst. And finally, the meat of the video. Now, there is currently a way to grab yourself infinite potions, like actual potions, as well as infinite snowballs in terms of making a farm. You could already get infinite snowballs just by breaking the snow that snow golems make when they walk around, but for one, that's currently, I believe, glitched. You'll see that the snow golem is actually not causing any snow to appear. However, you can in fact do something else with the snow golems. I've built here a little bit of a keeping device to uh, store some of our monster friends. All you gotta do is just build an area that will make sure that when you place a snowman in here, he won't be able to escape. As you can see, he's not gonna be able to leave this area. We've got this, oops. Now he could leave in theory if I do not move fast enough. <laughs> there we go, much better. So he can't escape this. And if I were to place a zombie in here, you'll notice that he won't be able to escape either. The change has been that thrown entities will now turn into their item form whenever they hit a cobweb. So you can see this chest is empty. Allow me to throw in an ender pearl. Turns into an item. Now, using this little system, you can actually collect with hoppers, the chest, and the cobwebs. You can slowly collect items. For example, Let's place a zombie in here. He's gonna see the zombie and he's gonna lay into him. You ready for this? Check it out. Come on. Would you maybe maybe I gotta place the there we go. As you can see, the snowballs are slowly being collected by the cobweb, and they're actually being funneled in to the chest down here. If this is not changed, this is now an infinite snow farm, since you can just set this and go AFK. You don't need to actually shovel with a shovel wherever the snowman is anymore. You can literally just let it collect like this. Now this also extends over to witches. Now when a witch is near you and it's in your line of, when, he, when you're in his line of sight, he will try and kill you with potions. Instant damage potions as well as splash potions of uh, what is it? poison. That's right. So we're gonna place a witch in here. Ooh, scary. All right, you think you're so funny, but I'm about to bankrupt you of all your potions. Go into game mode zero to do this. Once you stand in the other spot, you can't see the witch, but you'll be able to see in a hot minute that he's gonna notice you and he's gonna start throwing some potions. Yeah, go ahead, give it a shot. You see, do you see the potion? It's like right there. He's trying to throw them right now and it's not gonna work. You can literally hear him throwing the potions at you. Oh, isn't that nice? So apparently splash potions now make a noise when you throw them. A real nice noise. Experience sounds have actually also changed as well. I'll give myself while we're waiting for these potions. Give at P bottle O is it what is it? Um Minecraft bottle How, What bottle O enchanting? Maybe it's experience. There it is. It is. 64. So now experience sounds different too. Listen. Do you hear it? It's got a bit of a nicer sound almost. Let me Sounds a little bit different, but he's probably thrown enough potions. As you can see, they have in fact been collecting. Well, look in the chest here. Boom! Splash potions of poison. Now, I think he's supposed to throw damage potions as well. Uh, I think it's just random, or it might depend on how much damage you've in fact taken. Since he doesn't throw the healing potions that he drinks, or the speed potions that he drinks, that's... Whoa! No! Now I gotta drink a potion and hear if those sound effects are- that, Did you hear that? That was crazy. Let's try. Hmm. So maybe only for witches. But all the same, we now have a working, collectible, infinite potions, infinite snowballs, and I don't think there's a way to actually do anything with the ender pearls. You could- you, you can't really do anything with eggs either, although I believe it works in a similar fashion. Well, the egg- the egg, in fact, collects as well. So this may or may not be something that is kept or changed. Don't really know yet, but I thought I'd show you all the same. The snapshot is currently 
15W49A, there have been some awesome changes as well as some things set in place for future awesome changes. Can't wait for all these new sound effects, baby. But that's going to do it for this snapshot video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did and you learned something, please do drop a like rating on the video. It'd be much appreciated if you could do that for me. That's it. Make sure you subscribe so that you can see these videos right as they come out, especially the snapshots. You guys stay informed, baby. All the same. Hope you guys have a great day, and we'll see you later.